Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about the representation of queues in memory. Queues are usually maintained in memory by linear arrays or linked list. In this tutorial, we will study how we can implement a queue by linear array in memory. Suppose there is a queue M which is represented in memory by a linear array M and two variables front and rear. Variable front contains the index of an element of array M which is the front element of QM and variable rear contains the index of an element of array M which is the rear element of QM. Now this is the array representation of QM. Lower bound of array M is 1 and the value of variable front is 1. It means element at index 1 in array M is the front element of QM. Therefore, a is the front element of QM. Value of variable rear is 4. It means element at index 4 in array M is the rear element of QM. It means D is the rear element of QM. When we delete an element from QM, then the value of variable front will be increased by 1 since A is the front element. Therefore, only A can be deleted from QM. So when A is deleted, value of variable front will become 2. Now B is the front element of QM. Now suppose we have to insert an element E in QM. For this, first we will increase the value of variable rear by 1. Now rear will become equal to 5. After this, we will store element E in array M at index rear. So element E will be inserted in array M at index 5. Now E is the rear element of Q M. Now suppose there is a Q X. which can hold only 5 elements and it is implemented by array x. Array x can hold only 5 elements and lower bound of array x is 1. Variable front contains the index of an element of array x which is the front element of qx. And variable rear contains the index of an element of array x which is the rear element of qx. Suppose qx contains 5 elements a, b, c, d and e and a variable front is equal to 1 and variable rear is equal to 5. Here A is the front element of QX. Now suppose we have to delete A from QX. The value of variable front will become 2 when we delete element A from QX. Now after deletion of A, B is the front element of QX. Now, suppose we have deleted element B also. 
because b is the front element of qx so we can delete only b so suppose we have deleted b also then the value of variable front will become 3 now element c is the front element of qx now suppose we have to insert an element f in this q we know that elements can be inserted only at the rear end since this array x can hold only five elements and element e is stored at index 5 so we cannot increase the value of rear by 1 and store element f after e in array x right so we cannot increase the value of rear by 1 and store element f after e in array x elements of q here has occupied the last part of array one way is to shift the entire q at the beginning of array x which is quite expensive another option is to implement the q x by circular array x now what is a circular array now what is a circular array first of all we will learn what is a circular array suppose there is a linear array a whose lower bound is 1 and uh, can hold only n elements. Then, if it is assumed that element at index 1 in array A comes after the element stored at index n in array A, then linear array A is a circular array. Suppose this array A is a circular array and it implements a Q A and a rear is a variable which contains the index of an element of array A which is the rear element of Q A then if rear equals to n then rear plus 1 will be equal to 1 right so let us let's uh, come back on q x right so another option is that we will implement q x by circular array x right so if array x is circular then to insert element f in such condition value of rear will become 1 when we increase it by 1 right then we can store element f at index 1 in array x now suppose there is a q a which can hold only n elements and q a is maintained in memory by a circular array a lower bound of array a is 1 variable front contains the index of element of array a which is the front element of q a and variable rear contains the index of element of array a which is the rear element of q a now suppose this array a can hold only n elements so if front is equal to 1 and rear is equal to n or front is equal to rear plus 1 then it means q a is full 
step front and rear are equal to null then it means QA is empty it doesn't contain any element if front and rear are equal but they are not equal to null then it means there is only one element in QA thank you very much